Here we're in our vespiary, collecting thousands of very aggressive eastern yellow jacket wasps from a large incubation box that's filled with multiple relocated nests, some of which have combined into one large super nest. We raise these wasps for venom immunotherapy collection. There's only one opening in the box, and we put our vacuum extraction device up against that opening to collect the swarming wasps as they attack the device. This is very dangerous work that requires a full bee suit, full clothing underneath, double gloves, and duct tape to seal up any openings in the suit pant legs and sleeves. You cannot try this on your own without proper protection. As you can see here, you will be stung hundreds of times instantly if you do not have this kind of protection. Once we have the gear set up, we typically step away and let it run automated. We observe it from a distance to keep the operator safer and make it more efficient. All right, I'm gonna step away so that they'll focus their energy on the collection bottle. And there's so much venom in the air, my eyes are burning anyway, so time to step away. Eastern yellow jackets, or vesicular maculifrons as they're known scientifically, have an extremely intense defensive reaction. They are very aggressive when their nest is threatened or disturbed, and they will come out and attack in force, very similar to killer bees. So they are dangerous by nature because of that. The whole nest may empty out and attack you if you stumble upon a ground nest, for example, while you're mowing the lawn. A huge collection from the incubation box. We're gonna get these frozen now. So on this day, we collected a couple of bottles at a time from this incubation box. Here's the second bottle filling up very rapidly. Second bottle filled right up quickly. You can see the paper they've made over the chicken wire we put in there to keep animals out. This is the second time they've built paper there. First time the paper was removed second time they built it again. We're not sure how the paper was removed the first time, either animals or the wasps themselves. So when we add a nest to the incubation box, as you see here, we put it in paper bags or cardboard boxes. And then the wasp will make paper over that. A lot of the nests you see here in paper bags and boxes had not yet built a lot of the paper around it, but later on in the season, almost the whole box was filled with paper. Still going strong over here. Wave after wave still coming in. Second bottle at least as packed, if not more packed than the first. Really good incubation box success on this one.